MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. It's the home opener of this new season between the New York Mets and the Washington Nationals. Coming to the plate now, Ahmed Rosario. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Strasburg on one and one. To two balls and two strikes now. Breaking ball. Strike three called as he drops into beauty there, and that's the first down of the afternoon. J.D. Davis the next to bat. His past numbers with Steven Strasburg, he's gone three for 11. He also has one home run. Uh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. Standing in now, Jeff McNeil. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Ball two. The 2-2. Two -two. Is laid off and the count runs full. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around them and put them on first. But not with the guy in the on deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. The next 3 2. Now a swing and a foul tip, but it's held onto by Suzuki. A nice job there as they record the strikeout. So here's Pete Alonzo. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. The set and the 1 1. Hit hard on the ground to second. Kendrick has it. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Digging in now, Trey Turner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 3 2 pitch. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Adam Eaton digging in next. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's game. Here now the 2 2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Got to believe that runner from first is going to be in motion, especially in this situation. As an offensive player, just hit something hard because those defenders are going to be moving. Turner on at first. Nobody out. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Here comes Marisnik. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Standing in, Howie Kendrick. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. Kendrick waiting, now the pitch. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Here now is Juan Soto. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. Comes in with six hits in 22 tries. He's taken him deep once. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. And this one gets away. So now two men in scoring position. The 2-2. Two -two. Second and third here, one man out. Right three called, and now he's one out away from getting out of this. 
So striding in, Eric Thames. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Pounded softly down the line toward first. Throw on to first is going to get him, and the Nationals blow an opportunity here, and that ends the inning. Into the box, Michael Conforto. He'll start things out against Steven Strasburg as we get the inning underway. Pitch on the way. A ball and two strikes now. Whoa, he was swinging out of his shoes on that changeup. Must have looked real good coming in, but a different story once it got near the plate. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Number 40, Wilson Romo. The one and two pitch. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. You went to striding in next, and he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Fouled off. Liner in there for a base hit. The center field, number 15. Stepping in now, Jake Marisnik. And there's ball two now. Counts even a two and two to Marisnik. Here now the 2 2 is laid off of for ball number three. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Grounded to short. Turner fields it cleanly. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Into the box now, Kurt Suzuki. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. He's just two for 12. 1-1. One, one. I got two on the count. Aye. A bouncer up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. To the plate now as Dribble Cabrera. A ball and two strikes. Fastball well outside. Suzuki aboard here at first with nobody out. The bouncer to the left side. To second for one. Back to first, and that'll take care of Cabrera. It's a double play. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the power hitting first baseman, Ryan Zimmerman. Here now the 2 2. Hit out towards second, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Into the box now, Steven Strasburg. Ground ball sent back up the middle. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Now with the plate, Noah Syndergaard. Set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. 
And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Here now the 2 2. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So one man gone for the Mets in the third. And up next will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. Now the 2 1 pitch. Line drive to left. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Coming to the plate now, J.D. Davis. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2-2. Two and two. Good job to lay off that 1-2 breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here now is Trey Turner. Second trip to the plate for him. He drew a leadoff walk in the home first. Hey, going back to his first at bat, that was a terrific at bat. Saw a lot of pitches, and one of the things you want to do is try to drive that pitch count up early on the starting pitcher. Three and one to the national shortstop. Adam Eaton is on deck. He'll hit next. Hit high and deep out to left field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. The center fielder, number two, Adam Eaton. So now to the plate, Adam Eaton. Strike called, now the throw down. He's not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Now to the plate, now Howie back. Kendrick. He drew a base on balls his Howie. first time up. A 1 1. Line to the right side. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. The left fielder, number 22. At the plate now, Juan Soto. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. So we're under at first here with two gone in the inning. And in steps the lefty power threat, Eric Thames. Two balls and a strike. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Kendrick is off of first with two away. He pulls this one into right. Conforto is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So here's Jeff McNeil looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Now a swing and a ground ball for the second baseman, Kendrick. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Pete Alonzo. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Fouled away. Pop 
picked him up. Zimmerman in foul ground. Two gone. So two are gone in the Mets half of the fourth and up next the left handed hitting Michael Conforto. The one one. Hey if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy that's right where you want to miss any lower and he'll probably make you pay for it. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Two and two count. Here it comes. He's struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Pulled toward right center field after it is eaten. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Standing in, Kurt Suzuki. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Now this gets all the way to the wall. Now that the third base of Drupal. At the plate, as Dribble Cabrera had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The one-two. Pitch in the dirt, and that gets away. And over to third now is the runner. Now Cabrera awaits the 2-2. Two -two. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. To third. Davis grabs it cleanly. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Now batting, Ryan Zimmerman. He singled his last time up. Zimmerman. The 1-1. One -one is in there for the second strike. Two balls and two strikes to count to Ryan Zimmerman. Suzuki stands at third with one gun in the inning. Swing and a miss by Zimmerman as he sat down on strikes here. There are two away. So two are gone now in the Nationals fourth. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Steven Strasburg. The set and the 1-1. One -one. Hit out towards second. Throw in time and the side is retired. Riding in, Wilson Ramos. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Two and two to the Mets catcher. Here now the two two. High in the air out to center field. Eaton is under it. He's got it one away. Stepping now into the box, Yoenis Cespedes. One for Yoenis. one after a single this first time up. Strasburg on one and one. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Cespedes will turn for second. And he'll reach second now with one away. The center field number 16, Jake Marisnik. Stepping in now, Jake Marisnik. In the dirt here. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. From 
down the stretch. Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now that the pitch. So stepping in, no Noah wrong. Sindergaard. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Good time to be a nine hole hitter right now. More than likely going to get a good pitch to hit. The top of the order is looming on deck. Good spot to be a good hitter right now. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Ahmed Rosario would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And he will beat the tag safe at the plate. The batter, number one, shortstop Ahmed Rosario. To the plate now, Ahmed Rosario. Slow grounder to first. And a close play at second, but the throw does beat him, and the side is retired. Speedy Trey Turner digs in now. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. Here now the 2 2. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Mariznik is under it, and that's the first out of the inning. Digging in, Adam Eaton. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. One run, five hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Grounded up the first baseline, reined in, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Stepping into the box, Howie Kendrick. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. He chases out of the zone for strike three, and that's the third out of the inning. Ball set for the start of the inning. In now, J.D. Davis. A hit and two tries for him so far. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. Now Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. To two balls and two strikes now. One run, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. Now here's the pitch. Pete Alonso will be next. And this is fouled at the plate. The next three, two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Eaton is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonso. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. A uh, great curveball there. Really fooled him with that one. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. 
boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Bottom of the inning now. Ready for another shot now. Juan Soto. He went down on strikes last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Heading out towards shallow right. McNeil is under it. Two gone. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Kurt Suzuki. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right. And that'll move the count to one and two now. Here's the pitch. Nope. Bases are empty here with two men out. Grounder down the line at third. Davis brings it in. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Striding in once again, Michael Conforto. He struck out and flied out. 0 for 2 so far. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. Into the corner and slicing foul. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate. And he'll have another shot at it here. And they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. The catcher, and that'll bring up Wilson Ramos. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Here it comes on 1 and 1. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Thames is over just a few steps to his left as he takes it for out number two. Here's you a Cespedes. You want You know, Madden, every team has that one guy, and you a Cespedes is that guy for the Mets. Completely changes that complexion. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Last half of the seventh here. Here now is this Drupal Cabrera. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Hit the target, but this is low. 2 and 1. Pulled toward right center field. Right fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Now the 2 1. One out, nobody on. And a swing and a miss by Zimmerman as he sat down on strikes here. There are two away. Starlin Castro will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Slow roller out to short. Rosario brings it in. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Austin Voss is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Robinson Cano is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. Cano. Now a 
curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Voss stands six two and throws from the right side. He was a fifth round pick back in the draft of 2013. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Eduardo Nunez will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Well, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Up and in. Two and two the count. Here's the pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And that'll take care of the pinch hitter here for route number two. So two are gone in the Mets half of the eighth. And up next will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. From the windup. The 2 1 pitch. Oh, that's up there. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Brad Rock will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Number 29, Brad Rock. So coming to the plate, Trey Turner and his head-to-head -head matchup numbers with Brad Rock. He's a 333 hitter. The 2-1. Is looked at for ball three. Brock has tossed more than 500 innings at the big league level. And over those innings, he's worked to a whip of just a little over 1.3. So he's a reliable arm in terms of limiting traffic on the base pass. And he lays off ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Ethan. Set. Here's the 3-1. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two? Throw will be well laid as he reaches it first. In now, Howie Kendrick. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Boy, the Nationals could use a big hit right here. They really haven't been able to do much all game long. This would be a great time to get something going. Even count two balls and two strikes. Fly ball out toward left center field. Waiting on it is Nimmo. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And he'll indeed move up 90 feet, putting runners at the corners now with one away. Juan Soto to the plate now. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. 1-1. Strike two, swinging. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Swing and a fly ball, but shallow. And that's not going to do it. McNeil has a play. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. At the plate, Eric Thames. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The 1-1. One, one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. And he misses low here, so the count goes to 3-1. and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit in now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Oh, and he misses for ball four, and he's forced in the go-ahead run. 
Jerry Spamilia answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. Digging in as Dribble Cabrera, lifetime against Familia. He's a perfect four for four. He also has one home run. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. All even now, two and two. Eaton, the runner at third. Thames at second. Suzuki at first, two out in the inning. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. McNeil at second to finish off the force play, and that retires the side. Sean Doolittle takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Now pitching and batting in the sixth spot. Number Ready once again, J.D. Davis. He'll start it out against the closer, Sean Doolittle, who will try to shut the door. Number nine. The 1-1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. You got to be paying attention as an offense in the hitters meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. To two balls and two strikes now. Three and two now. Sliced hard on the ground. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Stepping in, Jeff McNeil. Fouls this one off. The one two. Popped him up. Cabrera is there. And that's the second out of the inning. Well, next will be the Mets cleanup hitter. Pete Alonso is career line with Doolittle. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Back up the middle. Kendrick's got it. Throw on to first is going to be in time. And the Nationals have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. Hey, we were really treated to a good one today. The bottom of the eighth proved to be the difference, though. And a good job here in the ninth to close the book on this one. Pitching and defense game 2-1 to one, the final score this afternoon. The Nats came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Austin Voss gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Sean Doolittle records the save, his second. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. Afternoon for the victorious Washington Nationals. Two runs, six hits, no error. They left eight men on base. For the Mets, one run, four hits, no error. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game: two hours and 42 minutes. Our paid attendance at National Park this afternoon: 41,339. The Nationals thank you for your attendance and remind you to please drive home safely.